Okay, so good afternoon everyone. We are from Group 4 and we're going to talk about consumer perceptions and strategic positioning, the Apple paradox in contemporary markets. So our member consists of two people. My name is Raya Natania with last three digit of NPM is 09 and I'm with my friends. My name is Zafira Jagadita with three last digit of my NPM is 021. So next slide. So the first one is perception. So perception is the process by which individuals select, organize, and interpret stimuli into a meaningful and coherent picture of the world. That is how we see the world around us. Consumer act and react on the basis of their perceptions, not on the basis of objective reality. For each individual, reality is a totally personal phenomenon based on that person's need, wants, values, and personal experiences. Thus, to the marketer, consumer perceptions are much more important than their knowledge of objective reality. Next slide. So the next slide is about sensory information. So individuals are very selective as to which stimuli they recognize. They subconsciously organize the stimuli that they do recognize according to widely held physiological principles, and they interpret such stimuli uh, subjectively in accordance with their personal needs, expectations, ex and experiences. So the following is three as the aspect of perception. So the first one is sight. Sensory input them uh, from our eyes is reflected is brand colors, store layouts, website design, and more. The second one is sand. Smell and touch represent considerable opportunities for targeting consumers. The third one is touch. Several studies indicated that touching a product influences perceptions that touching could be used as a persuasive tool. Uh, the fourth one is sound. The absences of sound is becoming a popular advertising tool. Most users on social media scroll through their news feed on their mobile devices with the sound. Next is taste. There are five known fundamental tastes in human palate. Salty, sweet, sour, bitter, and umami. Marketers can influence the perception of taste with things and sounds. And the last one is sensory input and culture. So research evidence suggests that sensory perception is culturally specific. And next slide. Next is about the absolute and differential threshold. So there are three. The first one is the absolute threshold. So the lowest level at which an individual experiences a sensation, the point at which a person can detect a difference between something and nothing. The second one is the differential threshold. So the minimal difference that can be detected between, between two similar stimuli is called the differential threshold or the just noticeable difference. And the last one is subliminal perception. So a situation that occurs when the sensory perception receive stimuli that are beneath the person's conscious awareness. And the example is the absolute threshold. Next slide. So the next one is about perceptual selections. There is factor that increase or decrease the probability that a stimulus will be perceived. The first one is stimulus features. Physical stimuli that affects consumers' perceptions of products and evoke attention into the product itself. Its attributes, package design, brand name, advertisement, commercial, uh, and replacement of promotional message within the advertising space. The next one is about personal expectations. So people usually see what they expect to see and they what they expect to see is usually based on familiarity, previous experience, or a set of expectations. Next is about consumer motivation, so people tend to perceive the things they need or want. The stronger the need, the greater the tendency to ignore unrelated stimuli in the environment. And the last one is about perceptual selectivity. So the consumer selections of stimuli from the environment is based on the interaction of expectation and motives with the stimulus itself. Next slide. Next is about perceptual organizations. There is three of basic principles of perceptual organization. The first one is figure and ground. So the term figure and ground refers to the 
interrelationship between the stimulus itself and the environment or context within which it appears. Next is grouping. So grouping refers to people in the tendency to group stimuli together so that they become a unified, unified picture of impressions. And the last one is closure. So closure is people's instinct to organize pieces of sensory input into a complete image or feeling. Next slide. Interpretation skills. Consumers explicate marketers offerings using two types of their features. The first one is integral indicators. Intrinsic skills are physical characteristics of the products itself, such as size, color, flavor, and aroma. The second one is external indicators. So more often than not, however, consumers are use extrinsic views that is characteristic that are not inherent in the product to just quality. And the last one is stereotyping. So individuals carry biased pictures in their minds of the meanings of various stimuli, which are termed stereotypes. Next slide. And there is interpretation consumer imaginary. So consumer imaginary refers to consumers' perceptions of all the components of products, services, and brands, as well as how consumers evaluate the quality of marketers' offerings. Products and brands have image and symbolic values for consumer based on the unique benefits that this first claim they provide. And there is the first one, perceived value. So customers' views of the value that they receive for their money is relative. The second one is perceived quality. So products and services can deliver high quality, actually, as determined say, by expert judgments of scientific tasks. The next one is price, quality relationship. So perceived product value has been described as a trade off between the product's perceived benefits and the perceived sacrifice, monetary and non-monetary, necessary to acquire it. And next is brand image. So products can brand have products and brand have image and symbolic values for consumer based on the unique benefits that this products claim they provide. Next is package perceptions or image. So in addition to the product's name, appearance, and features, packaging also conveys the brand's image. For example, is the tight detergent version, the predominantly promised stain removal comes in an orange plastic container with a large handle on its sides and suggests the heaviness on the products because consumer associates heaviness with the power of to remove things. Next is service quality. It is more difficult for consumers to evaluate the quality of services than the quality of products. Next is retail store perceptions or image. So retail stores have image of their own that influence the perceived quality of the products they carry and consumer decisions about where to shop. This image stem from the merchandise they carry, the brand sold and their price, the level of service, the store physical environment and ambitions, and its typical clientele. And the last one is company image. So company and brand perceptions extend beyond perceived price and store image. Manufacturers that enjoy a favorable image generally find that their new products are accepted more readily than those of manufacturers who have a less favorable or even a neutral image. Next slide. So next is about positioning and repositioning. So the positioning strategies used most often are umbrella positioning, premier position, positioning against competition, key attribute, and finding an unknown, unowned perceptual position. It must be noted that these strategies are not fully exclusive and often overlap. overlap. Next slide it will be explained by Jabira. Okay, the next is about a factor affecting the consumer perception toward the Apple products. There, it, there are concerns of four. The first one is price. So Apple's higher price compared to competitors can be seen as sign of a quality and, and exclusivity contributing to its premium perception among customers. And then the next is about quality. Apple emphasizes on quality and innovation showcased in products like the iPhone, MacBook, and iPad enhance consumer perception through their reliability and performance. And then the next is packaging and branding. Apple 
focus on a simple packaging and branding highlighted by minimalist design and iconic logos create creates a sense of luxury and sophistication enhancing consumer perception and then the last is reputation apple's reputation for innovative technology user friendly interfaces and exceptional customer service foster fosters trust and loyalty influencing consumer to perceive apple product as a premium and reliable and then the next is about perception shapes sensory input and consumer behavior of apple the first one is sight apple prioritize clean minimalist design to create an elegant and in intuitive user interface fostering the perception of easy to use premium products the next is sense apple considers the relationship with innovation utilizing new sense to generate positive brand perception the next touch Apple emphasizes comfortable and premium tactile experiences, utilizing materials like aluminum and glass to convey quality and attention to detail. And then the next sound, Apple carefully designed sound, including series of voice and notification tones to enhance the overall user experience and interaction. The last is brand culture. Through promoting innovation, creativity, and exclusivity, Apple cultivates a strong fan culture, influencing consumer behavior and making ownership a status symbol. The next is about Apple perceive their brand positioning in relation to the comp competition. Apple has successfully created a brand image syn synonymous with innovation, exclusivity, and technological leadership, supported by effective marketing and consistent delivery of high-quality product. However, some consumers perceive Apple products as an expensive and less flexible compared to alternative products. To address this, Apple could, could increase communication effort to emphasize their values such as quality, innovation, and customer support. Diversifying pricing strategies and product offerings can also broaden Apple. Peel. So here's the conclusion. Apple's success in shaping consumer perception of its product is evident through its focus on various factors such as pricing, quality, branding, and reputation. By consistently delivering high-quality, innovative products with sleek design and intuitive interfaces, Apple has positioned itself as a premium brand synom synonymous with luxury, reliability, and exclusivity. The company's attention to sensory aspects like visual design, touch, sound, and even sense further enhance the overall user experience, reinforcing positive perception of the brand. So that's all from our presentation and thank you for your attention.